he used the ref to uh, to work with widget to uh, to have information or interact with widgets and this is the the thing that we need to work with providers and it is the same inside our widgets so to be able to call um, a provider or be able to read a provider or to change his state we uh, must uh, um, use this ref and there are uh, uh, two main ways to get this value is to change our widget in this case instead of having a stateless widget or a stateful widget we need to use a special type of widgets that are defined by the riverpod package for example instead of using the stateless widget we should use the consumer widget and instead of using the stateful widget we should use the uh, the consumer stateful widget so this is the main difference because these special widgets uh, will allow you allow us to get this ref uh, object yeah so they basically work the same as the state uh, stateless widget for example now we can take in consideration this uh, the consumer widget it works the same as the stateless widget it only uh, give us a, a second parameter ref so let's change this one with a consumer widget and as you can see now it says that we have an error here uh, the reason is because we have to define uh, the widget ref as the second parameter as you can see here we have the build context as the first one and the widget ref as the second one so um, obviously the ref here can be used only inside the build and you will only need it inside the build because it's the most important thing of the stateless widget widget ref ref okay so now here we are able to um, to use our provider to call our provider so there are many ways uh, uh, to call a provider um, inshallah for now we are going to see uh, only one and inshallah when i'm going to explain the, the state provider i'm going to explain uh, another way there are a few ways to call a provider and inshallah right now we are going to see um, watch and and it is the most easy way uh, to call um, a provider and you should always use watch except for some cases that inshallah we are going to see uh, in the future with the state provider and so uh, we can do this by defining for example uh, a new variable int my number is equal ref dot watch and we can call our provider my provider so just by doing like this we have called our provider and when it gets called we uh, will get our value so uh, let's see the result let's save so this is our result and as you can see uh, it shows the number zero we can change the number here and save and um, we can restart to see our value so obviously if you have started from um, my uh, my main example you should uh, research your application because we have defined the provider scope we have added the package that basically changes everything so and as i said before uh, here with consumer widget you are using a stateless widget so uh, you should see this uh, as a stateless widget the only difference is that you have this reference here and uh, you should uh, always use the watch whenever uh, possible and in some cases you can use other ways that inshallah we're going to, to see in the future and as i said previously you use uh, you call your provider with my provider and uh, you don't call the state as was on the previous uh, development versions for example so just call this and you will get uh, easily um, 
the, the, the value that you have defined. In this case, as you can see, we have uh, defined this variable as integer and it has returned uh, the number 20 as integer without any problem or complaining. Mm, as I said before, you can even define uh, multiple providers, uh, second provider, third provider, uh, for example, this one as a string, hey, and uh, you can return them without any problem and it will not complain that you have uh, providers of uh, uh, different type my string uh, my second number so we can copy for example this here here third provider so here obviously it complains because we have to define it as a string and we can save obviously we have to change uh, to see our number for example here uh, instead of using my number i'm going to use my string and uh, Maybe here some thing. Okay. Um, yeah, as you can see now, it prints uh, this value here. It prints uh, some thing. Hey, I am a provider. And as you can see, you can define multiple providers without any problem. Will not have any problem. Uh, you don't have to define them. Uh, here as it was previously with the um, provider package so uh, another example that i want to do since uh, um, someone asked me on 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 youtube is if you have a provider on a different file how you can uh, call it So what I have done right now, I have um, got the third provider and I have uh, moved it to another file that I called my provider, as you can see right here. Uh, it, is, it is the same one that I have defined previously. Uh, here I have imported uh, our river pod and yeah, then I have uh, imported uh, the file on my main .dart, the file where the provider is defined, this one here, I have imported it on my main, and here uh, you can call it easily. Since it is a global, you will see it without any problem. So then I have printed my second variable, uh, variable, my second uh, yeah variable here and yeah and as you can see it works so inshallah i hope that uh, everything is clear for um, uh, for provider if you want me to explain other things uh, please inshallah let me know uh, but please give me some time because i have too much things to do and inshallah uh, i try my best to to do it